Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial of how to install mods for Minecraft. Now this tutorial will basically help you install any mod you want onto any version of Minecraft because it's pretty much the same thing no matter what you're installing. So let's get straight into it here by going on to the first step and that is locating the mod you want to install. Now I've already opened up my web browser here and I've found some mods that I might like to install. But if you're looking for a new mod, just say you want to find the Pixelmon mod. Type in Pixelmon into Google, bam, it's the first link. Just say you want to find another mod, you just type it in there, and bam, it'll probably be the first link. And after you've found it, just say I want to find this one in particular, Mo Benz. That's a pretty good mod. We'll go for the 1.7.10 one. Bam, planetminecraft.com, that's a really good website. We'll head over to that and download the mod. So I click the link. And I'm looking at the mod. Now what I have to do is find out what version of Minecraft it is running on. So if I scroll down here, I see download and install Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. So there, pretty simple. I need Minecraft Forge 1.7.10 to be able to run this mod. And just say I would have picked the Pixelmon mod, exactly the same thing. You click on their downloads page, it tells you which version of Forge you need. So this one says 1.7.10, or there's a 1.7.2 version, or there's even a 1.6.4 version. So, after you've worked out what version of Forge you need to run the particular mod you want to get working, then you just have to go ahead and find the Forge. Now, Pixelmon includes a link on their website here, so I could just click right here, and that'll send me to the 1.6.4 Forge, but in case you're planning on installing another mod, like the Mo Benz that I've got right here, I'll show you how to find that as well. So we'll go back, back to Google, and we just type in Minecraft Forge. Have a look at that, guys. The first link is files.minecraftforge.net, so we'll click on that. And now that we've clicked on this, it shows you all of the latest Forge downloads. If you need an older one, you can also click on the legacy build. So there you go, very simple. Now if I remember correctly, we needed Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. So what I'm going to do is find the recommended version. See right here, 1.7.10 recommended. And I'm going to go all the way across to installer. Now, all you have to do is click that. It'll come up with a download and little ad, which I'm not going to view. I'm going to leave this page before the ad pops up. But that's basically just an ad that'll pop up on your screen. And then I'll say a download link. You just click download. It'll download the file. And bam, you now have Minecraft Forge 1.7.10. I'm, of course, going to include all the links and all the websites I talked about in the description of this video. So if you, if you don't know how to Google search, if Google is broken, don't worry. I got all the links down there for you. But basically, click the installer, download that. Find the mod you want, so I had Mo Benz, and I just had to click download on that. I'll quickly, I'll do it for you guys so you know exactly what's happening. Mo Benz, 1.7.10. Bam, click that again. Sorry, I exited the page, I shouldn't have done that, but there you go. Download right there, click the download button. Of course, this is going to bring up another ad, but you get the point. Once you've got those two files downloaded, now is where the tutorial really starts, I guess. I've got the two files right here. Mobens and Forge. So the first thing you want to do after locating the mod you want and the required Forge that you need for that mod to work, you just want to open up Minecraft. So I've got mine down here. Bam. Open that up. And come on, come on, open up. Here we go. So mine is currently running on... Oh, that's the launcher. That doesn't matter. But the version I've got is 1.7.10. And that's exactly what I wanted because you need to run the Minecraft version before you try to install the Forge version. So if I want to install Forge 1.7.10, I have to edit my profile, go down to Use Version, and I have to select 1.7.10, click Save, and then click Play. And that'll download 1.7.10 if I haven't already ran it. If I was trying to install a mod for 1.6.4, I would have to change this to 1.6.4, click Save, and then click Play. Now I'm going to do this just for the sake of it. As you'll see, I've never played 1.6.4 before, so it'll have to download the files. And bam, 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 it should only take a few seconds and then all the files for that particular version are downloaded, and then you're good to go for the next step. So while that's doing that, we're going to pretend I'm doing it for 1.7.10, just because that's what we needed for this mod. Then what you do is you open up this folder. 
Now, as you can see, I've got a little Java icon on mine. If yours is just a white piece of paper, it means you don't have Java installed. So you might have to head over, Google Java, install that. But if you're running Minecraft, you'll most likely have it. So what you're more likely going to need to do is right click it, go open with, open with, and then select Java um, in brackets, TM, platform, SE, binary. And if it's not on this little drop down, you have to do choose default program and you'll have to browse through your files and find the Java from Oracle. So if you're going to download it, just go ahead and Google that and you should find it no problem whatsoever. Download it and that's what you'll need to run it. But 90% of computers have it anyway, but just in case, I thought I'd chuck that little tip in there. Make sure to download it if you don't already have it. Open with Java TM platform SE binary. Too easy. Once you've done that, it'll open up a little window like this and it'll just say install client. You tick that box, it's already ticked by default, and you click OK. It'll download all the libraries and say successfully installed client into the launcher. Now mine grabbed zero libraries because I already had it installed, so I didn't need to download anything. Yours might take a little bit longer there to actually download the files. You click OK. You make sure you close Minecraft, you reopen it back up. And once you've reopened it back up, it'll automatically create a Forge profile for you. Now, if you don't know what profiles are, you can find them down here. You can create a new one or select the little drop-down box. See, I now have Forge here. I didn't have that before, so now Forge is officially there. I can just click it. You can go to Edit Profile, and as you can see now, I can now... I can... I said now three times. You can now select Release 1.7.10 Forge. And that is what you want to be running to install mods. You've still got the normal Minecraft versions up here, but now you can select that. So you just select it, you click save, you won't really need to select it, it'll be there by default, but just in case you wanted to switch between Forge versions, after you've installed more, you can actually switch between them all on this list, like to go to 1.6.4 Forge, or 1.7.2, whatever you want, you can select it there, click save, too easy, click the play button, now, this will actually download the rest of the required files for Forge, get it all booted up for you. And we're going to test just to make sure Forge is working. Come on, open up here, Minecraft. Yes, we can see it is working successfully because it says that I've got a bunch of mods loaded and it's running Minecraft Forge, that version. Done. Very easy, very simple. Now you've got Minecraft Forge working, you just got to add the mod you wanted onto it. Now that is very simple. I've actually already got a mod installed, MoBenz. But let's turn this terrible Minecraft music off, sorry about that. And yeah, so the next step for installing these mods is to find your Minecraft folder. It is called .minecraft. Now I actually have a shortcut to it on my desktop, but I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to find this folder. This is how I get there guys, I click Options. I click resource packs, I click open resource pack folder, and then once it's open, it takes you to the .minecraft. See up here? It says .minecraft, which is in app data roaming. So you click on that, bam, there's a folder called mods. Double click on that, and this is where you want the, to drag the folder. So what you do is you get the mod that you wanted to install, you drag it in here, you won't need to replace it because it won't be there, and I can't do it because Minecraft's open, but there we go, we'll delete that. And we'll drag it in, just pretend we're brand new installing the mod. It is now dragged in to the mods folder, which is in the .minecraft directory. Another way to get here would be to click the start menu, and in the search thing, type percent app data percent. Exactly how I did it there, percent app data percent, and then click on roaming. And if once you've done that, you'll be opened up with this little thing here, and you can click .minecraft manually. So that's one way of finding it, and there's the mold fold, the folder once again. Or you could just do that thing in Minecraft by clicking on your resource pack folder and clicking open. Either way is fine. All you have to do is get to this mods, mods folder, drag in the mod you want, and also a little tip, I have a folder here called non-active mods. So just say I had Pixelmon as well in here, but I didn't want to run MoBenz and Pixelmon at the same time, because it'll probably crash. What I'll do is I'll just drag a mod in there, and now it's non-active. It will not open up when you open Minecraft. And to get it back, you can just cut it, go here, paste it back. Done. So now it's in the mods folder. Minecraft mods right there. And sorry how I'm being so um, descriptive and explaining the most basic of things. But I really like to make my tutorials so even someone's grandma could do it. 
if you because people the reason why they're googling tutorials is because they might be stuck they might not know all these things so i like to explain everything as much as possible so everyone knows exactly how to get these mods working so there we go there's the mods in the mods folder you can minimize it or keep it open whatever's easiest for you you launch minecraft once again you make sure you're running the correct forge version so I want to select Forge and I want to make sure it's 1.7.10. Yes, it is. Very nice. You just go ahead, click play. It'll start up Forge. And then in two seconds, we should hopefully see successful mods loaded. Come on, Mojang. Yes, there we go. So we've got all these mods loaded down there. We've got the normal three, which are to do with Forge. And then we have MoBenz, which is the one we just downloaded and installed very nice, very nice. And we can even test that it's working by jumping on a server here. I'll jump on my servers. I also want to mention that, guys. If you like Minecraft, if you're a big fan of Minecraft, make sure to check out my servers. i got hub.hadescraft.com, mc.mindfrenzy.com. I even have two amazing Pixelmon servers. All the IPs will be in the description if you want to check them out. But I'm going to, head, going to go ahead and join this one right here. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so you can see. Oh, oh. Uh, this will look terribly off scale, but here we go. Let's see if Mo Benz is working. Yes, it is. You can tell by how my body is moving and how the sword is swinging. How sick is that, guys? Mo Benz is a very nice mod. And you can check out my channel if you want to see a full mod review on the on this mod, because I do a lot of mod reviews on my channel. And shortly after this video is being uploaded, my video of explaining how Mo Benz work will be uploaded, so make sure to check that out. Definitely worth it. Let's just fly around here, show you the swimming animation. Yeah, how sick is that? <laughs> that was the main point I wanted to make, guys. The mod does work. It is very simple, very easy to install. So go check out all your favorite mods now. Install them, play them, have some fun. It's definitely really nice, and if you want to find out about more cool mods, and also how they work, and all the details about them, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe, because I'll be doing a lot of mod coverage over the next month or so, so definitely check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It wasn't that hard when you think about it, and if you have any questions, make sure to post in the comment section below, or just go ahead and watch the video more carefully. The only thing I didn't do is show you how to down which button to click to download the files, but that's different for every mod, so you should be able to work that out. Just find the download button, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to chuck the video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.